guys welcome back to my channel it's Ali with another Black Friday craft supply haul I've been waiting to open these and I just haven't got around to filming the video so I'm very excited to finally open them I've got one package here from Hey Little Magpie and one from Craft Stash both of which were placed around Black Friday sort of time so without further ado let's start opening the packages so I've got quite a lot of stuff from Craft Stash as you can see I'm gonna start with I'm going to start with these because these were all part of a bundle so I think you could buy any five paper discovery sets and it was like £35 which I think was about 50% off so I really wanted this one for ages which is called the quintessential conservatory detailed plant stamp set it's essentially loads of houseplants my favourite one here is this shelf but I just thought this was a really really nice set and I already had it in my basket on craft stash anyway. So then to kind of get my money's worth, I got the other ones um, in the bundle. So I got this set. This one's a set of stamps and dies. This is the gingerbread fun set and you get the stamp set with all of the gingerbread icons. Um, let's take this up so you can see. So you've got your gingerbread man and like some cookie toppers, um, a few sentiments in here and then little details for the house and then there's also the dies as well so you get all the dies to cut them out and I thought these would be really nice cut out of craft cardstock and then heat embossed with white I thought that would look really really pretty you could also stamp them with white pigment ink and that would look a little bit more like not perfect I think that would just be really really pretty and then you could also color them in if you wanted to yeah I thought this was really versatile and really nice for Christmas and I really like that you got the both the stamps and the dies in order to get the bundle offer you had to get five so I also got this wreath builder set which has 16 pieces in and it's basically to build a wreath um, a lot of the paper discovery sets will coordinate with each other but I just picked the ones that I really liked so I thought this would be really nice to build a nice die cut wreath on the front of a card. You get 16 dies in that one. Um, let's have a look at the sort of the size. <laughs> so just me or is that like really extra packaging for that? So they are quite small um, but that's okay because I'll be using them on cards anyway so they don't need to be super huge. Um, I do quite like that these dies come in little pouches um, so they should be quite easy to store I think this one will be fine but these are a bit like these won't fit anywhere in my die storage the last two I've got um, I just went for the sentiment dies because they did have some other options but I thought these would be the ones I would probably use the most um, they, and these are panel dies so wow that is enormous <laughs> um yeah that is absolutely huge isn't it let's see what size it is so that is actually nine inches long so i mm, that's kind of a bit too big to use on a card isn't it really unless you're making a nine inch long card but yeah so i've got the time to celebrate one i'm sure i can find a use for them and then there's also a happy birthday, which I'm guessing is the same sort of size. Yeah. So again, absolutely huge. So that's those. Um, all those together, I think, were about £35. So, so that's them. I also bought a bunch of stencils. And there's a couple here from Funky Fossil Designs. So I had this one in my basket before, and it's um, like a pine tree inspired design. I just thought that was really festive and Christmassy. And would be nice to use and then the other one I got from Frankie Four Sword of Science is this one this one is called the watercolour lines stencil the other one didn't have a sticker on it so I can't remember what it's called and this is just kind of messy watercolour lines which I thought would be fun I'm trying to get a few more stencils because I've got really into uh, mixed media and I wanted a few more stencils to play around with also got this one this one is from Stamper Stamperia I don't know how you say that this is a gingerbread there we go. So you've got all of your gingerbread men. Very cute. Gingerbread men, snowflakes, little iced cookies. Yeah, that one is, what does it say? 18 by 18 centimeters, I'm guessing. So. And then I also got this one, which is from Hunky Dory. And this one is called 
uh, from the love of master cracking christmas and i just really liked that it was like a layered cracker so you've got the base layer and your top layer there's also a ripped version which i thought was pretty cool and an explosion so I don't know, I just quite like that. And then of course you can use the edge as well, which I think is quite clever that they've added that around the edge. I'm not usually a big fan of Hunky Dory products because I find them a bit too traditional for me. Uh, but I really like this one, so I thought I would get that one. There's one more stencil and it is this one, which is a kind of leopard print inspired stencil. Um, this really reminded me of my friend Claire, who I used to work with. Um, I just thought it would be super fun to use as a background, so I thought I'd pick that one up. I don't have anything like that. That one's from Woodware, that one. The last couple of things I got from Craft Stash are actually from Sassy Crafting, which is Emma Jewel's brand, if you know Emma Jewel on Instagram. I've had my eye on these for a while and they were on a really good offer, so I thought I'd pick up a couple of stamp sets. This one's a fast food stamp set. I really like the illustrative, illustrative style that these are in um, and these would be really cute for making a background or making some elements to go on your card and then this one is the fruit one obviously you know what I'm like with fruit stamps so thought I'd get this one as well I like the sentiments on these they're really fun and punny so yeah so those are all the things that I got from Craft Stash. It wasn't a huge order just because I actually don't need a lot more craft supplies. So I tried to rein it in a little bit and I just got some bits that I really wanted. And then the other box I've got is from Hey Little Magpie. Ordered from Hey Little Magpie quite a few times now. Uh, they have really, really good selection of scrapbooking and general paper craft supplies nice big box so i saw these watercolor ink bottles and i think they were they were 50 percent off so instead of being 20 pounds they were 10 and just really wanted to give them a go i don't have any watercolor ink so i thought that would be really really fun to play with i've got like every other kind of watercolor you can imagine but <laughs> um not uh watercolor ink so i thought they'd be really fun to try and i'm looking forward to giving those a go also got some acrylic paints they had quite a good sale on a hey little magpie so most of this stuff is from their sale i got these two ali edwards acrylic paints i just really like the colors i've got um tillamook and deschutes um which is like a this is a navy and then this is like a yellow these were in the sale so they were only i think they were like a pound each or something or 150. i thought they would be fun to play with also got this stamp set from the Ink Road Stamps. I'm not, I don't think I've heard of this brand before, but I really like this big um, sentiment here, Chin Up Buttercup. I thought that was really fun. And then you get a few flowers and hexagons. So that should be a lot of fun to use. I'm trying not to buy as many stamp sets as I normally would. I'm clearly failing. I don't have any more space for any more stamp sets. So I'm probably just gonna have to find more space. <laughs> <laughs> or declutter some that I'm not going to use but that would be hard also got another stencil this is from Echo Park and it is from their Forward with Faith collection this is Paint by Faith now um, I'm not you know I'm not I'm not religious um, but sometimes these like faith themed collections do have designs that you would use that you know they're not really related to faith this is just a nice abstract stencil design so I thought this would be especially good for, to use with like my glitter and glacier pastes from Tonic and the emboss the uh, the, what, the embossing paste things I can't remember what they're called and the ones that I featured in my my Tonic big Tonic haul recently so yeah I just thought that was a bit unusual and different to some of the other stencils I've got this was another thing that was in the sale this is from Fancy Pants Designs and they are like a load of tags so you get a bunch of these die cut tags all different colours. I think I bought this with uh, like Project Life and scrapbooking in mind, but obviously you could also use these for birthday cards as well. Yeah, so there's some nice, uh, nice sentiments there. And some also some nice plain ones. And then you get a little bit of wine in there too i got this pack of journal cards was in the sale as well i think and it's from my mind's eye it's from the one of a kind collection and this is like quite a i can never remember if it's 60s or 70s 
themed and I always get it wrong but one of those um, and I just really liked all the colours and the themes so you know this can go in my project life stash for when I finally start project life <laughs> which is going to happen one of these days when I finally get the time to set up my printer and print out all my pictures. I really like the colours in this set. I think it's really, really fun. I think I got a couple of the 12 by 12 papers in here somewhere as well. So that's all those and I also got some bits so I've had my eye on these for a while but since I was ordering from Hey Little Magpie anyway I thought I'd get them because then if I you know if I ordered them from somewhere else I'd have to pay for the postage on them individually so this is all from the Pink Fresh Oh What Fun collection and I got the cardstock stickers and there's lots of labels and fun little sentiments on there this is more for my scrapbooking and project life I just thought I really like the style of these they're kind of uh, I don't know maybe like 60s but like modernized I guess um, and then there's also I also got the die cuts so you can kind of see them I'm not going to get them all out because they're just going to go everywhere but those are what you get inside the set there's some tags there's some sentiments there's some little icons little labels, all kinds of fun things in there. And then also there's the journal cards, which I will get out and show you. Oh, why are they in more inside? Oh my God. These are not double-sided, okay. They're just single-sided. Just really, really like these. You could use these on the front of cards if you wanted to. They would make nice cards. But obviously they are, I think they are meant for scrapbooking. Pocket page scrapbooking specifically. There's a few more bits in this Pink Fresh Oh What Fun collection that I would quite like to get. But they're quite expensive. <laughs> so I just got a few. I think these are four or five pounds each, which... Um, I don't know I think that's expensive maybe maybe you guys don't but um, I couldn't justify getting the whole collection just because it would have you know cost nearly 50 quid which uh, I think is too much to spend on my collection at the moment um, but however I am going to keep an eye on these products and if I do see them on sale like next year after Christmas is over then I might get some more of them but I don't really need more so I didn't really need these so. <laughs> so I got a few packs of these Jilly Bean Soup um, Alphabet stickers which I think I've had maybe one or two of these sets before um, but I got the orange grid ones which are like white and you can see that very well but they are white and orange and then I got them in the navy diagonal which is like navy with a chevron stripe and then i also got the gray chevron which is gray with a with a chevron pattern on them so um these are quite i think this has got a sticker on about say 2.99 but i'm pretty sure no i paid one pound fifty for each of these so it's quite reasonable and then i also got these color theory um tabs which are I think meant to go in like your Project Life album. And these were also only 150. So you just, you fold them over and you put them on the side of your page protectors and then you can like flick to that month in, in your Project Life album. And I'm planning on doing, uh, I'm not gonna do like a spread a week because some weeks I like do a lot and some weeks I don't do anything <laughs> apart from work. So, um, I'm gonna kind of do like as you know as many layouts as I want for a month. One you know, one month I might just do one page. One month I might do several. So I thought this would be it would be nice to have these uh, so I can kind of flick through 
my album when it's done. I have all these grand plans, but if I ever actually start it is another matter. And then the last few bits are some 12 by 12 sheets of paper. I've got quite a collection of 12 by 12 paper, so I shouldn't really be buying any more, but mm, done now. This is from the My Mind's Eye One of a Kind collection, which those journaling cards were from earlier. Um, this one's called Empowered. So on this side, I think it's the B side, we've got these tiny little white daisies on a red background. You can see that. And then on the other side, which is the side that I liked the most, is this big sort of 60s slash 70s inspired abstract and botanical print. I thought that was really pretty. I also got this Jen Hadfield one from the This Is Family collection. I really like these trees. I thought they were really, really nice. Really nice design. And then... This is called Fall Time, this one. And then on the back, you just got a mustard dot, which is very nice as well, but I just prefer this side. This is also from Jen Hadfield. This is Family Collection. This one's called Garden Field. No, sorry. This one's called Golden Field. And it's got these lovely white and black flowers on a mustard background. And then on the back, it's got pink with mustard hearts, which again, very nice. This is from the Pebbles Happy Cake Day, which is a birthday collection that's just this, this pizza one. It's called Pizza Party. Uh, I don't know why I got this one. I just like the pizza. <laughs> it's just whatever. And then on the back, you've got the red spot. But I mean, this is the this is the standout paper from that one, isn't it? And then the last one I have in here is this, which is probably the most jazzy one. Um, this is by Fancy Pants Design. Uh, from the vitamin C collection vitamin C as in like ocean C and it's this really cool colorful monstera leaf uh, I just really really like this one um, I just I really was drawn to it and then on the back is just a stripe but this is the one I like the best. So that, that's the last thing that was in that order. But that's my second Black Friday craft haul for 2020 and the last one. I only shopped at three places for craft supplies on Black Friday because I was trying to be good. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, I'll leave it up to you to judge whether I was good or whether I just blew the bank. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please subscribe to my channel because I make videos like this all the time. Also post a lot of paper crafting videos. If you're into card making, please give my channel a subscribe because I'm sure you will enjoy it if you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and also leave me a comment telling me what your favourite item was on in the haul. I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. Until then, I'll see you later.